Hello class, today we'll, we will be creating an October pumpkin. Please take out a pencil and markers. The colors that I will be using today are orange. What else? Green for this stem. And I'm gonna use yellow inside of his face features to show that there's a light shining from inside of him. I'm also gonna use black. If you don't have black, use brown. If you don't have markers, use crayons. If you don't have crayons, use pencil. You have to draw a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin with facial features that light up. So you have to show a pumpkin that looks like there's a light inside of him. Here's another example. Everyone should be taking out their markers and getting prepared to start. If you don't have markers, use crayon. Here's another example. If you don't have crayon, use whatever you have to make your October pumpkin. We will use markers to create a traditional holiday poster. That's what we're doing. Remember, the markers have a broad, medium, and fine side of the tip to use. If you want to add other things to your pumpkin, you can. This student added a cat or some kind of animal popping out of the top. If your marker starts to dry out a little bit, that's okay because then your work will look like this. Markers that are dried out have a little bit of value. Look at how this artist put yellow inside of his facial features. That's good. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Showing a pumpkin that looks like it's all lit up. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is draw the shape of our pumpkin. If you use pencil, you can erase. If you just use marker, you cannot erase. If you use pencil, then you have to trace over it with marker later. I'll start with marker. Now, I want my pumpkin shape to look real, so it doesn't have to be a full circle or an oval, and I want it to take up most of the page, but I want to leave space for my stem. So I'm leaving a couple inches at the top, and I'm starting now. Uh-oh, is this marker dried out? Yep, this marker is dried out. If your marker is dried out, you can try to wet the tip of the marker and close the marker back up so you can use it later. Um, let's see if I can find my other markers. Here's one. Doo -doo -doo. Our marker should be laying flat or standing up tall so that our working space is neat and organized. Dojo points are going to be given for everyone who's roaring. Your camera is on your work. I can see your work while you're doing it. You can tilt your laptop screen down so that your work is on the camera. So I can see your work as you're working. Let's see if my marker is working for me. My cap is on the back. And I'm making a nice big shape on the page that's a rounded shape. Pumpkins come in different shapes and sizes. Now I'm gonna draw my stem. After you draw the pumpkin shape, draw your stem. The stem is bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. Now I'm gonna draw facial features next. Don't draw the lines yet, the lines go last. I want triangle eyes. You can make any shape for your eyes. 
in any shape for your nose. I'm making an upside down triangle for the nose. And for the mouth, I want to make a shape that looks like a smile at the bottom, kind of friendly. And then I'm going to just make it jagged at the top like that. Now, I'm going to use the broad side of my marker to darken the whole left side of this jack-o'-lantern's face to make it look like it's in shadow. To make it look like it's cut and thick. For the other side, I'm not going to outline just this side. I'll put a dark line here, and a dark line here, and a dark line here. Now, What's next? Draw the lines. The lines should be curved a little bit because the pumpkin is curved. Don't draw inside of his mouth. Don't draw inside of his eyes. Now this one in the middle can kind of go straight down. Now these ones curve this way. After you draw all of your lines, then it's time to color your jack-o'-lantern in using orange and yellow. Let's see if my orange works. Yep. Cap on the back, marker standing tall. I'm trying not to bump into the black because I don't want to mess up my marker. I'm using the broad side to make nice lines to color in my work. Some kids color like this with markers, but I'm not doing that. I'm just starting at the top and sliding the marker down to keep my point very smooth. We're using markers today. If you don't have markers, you can use pencil. Markers are on the school supply list, so everyone should have them.
I'm taking my time to make sure I'm staying in the lines. Nice and neat. Keep your work nice and neat. Don't rush as you almost get finished. Keep your keep stay in the lines and make sure you're using the broad side of the marker to color in the large big spaces. Broad side of the marker means turning your marker sideways. Not using the pointy tip, but using the broad side. Make sure the marker feels comfortable in your hand. Get used to how you're holding it. It should be efficient so you can go nice and quickly and smoothly. And it should be comfortable so you can go nice and quickly and smoothly and have a more enjoyable process as you're working. When you change colors, close your marker up. Now I'm going to do the green stem. For the stem I'm going to use some lines. I want to add brown. I want to add some brown to my stem. To make it look more like a wood, wood texture. Just a little bit of brown. Now it's time to make his face that's all lit up yellow. Here I used apricot. If you want, you can write words on your poster. It's a traditional holiday poster. You can hang it on your refrigerator, put it in plastic, a plastic cover, if you have that. If not, you can just tape it or stick it on the refrigerator with a magnet. Be very careful not to bump into your black when you're doing your yellow candlelit color. Notice how I outlined everything first. Now I can do the inside. Now I think I am going to do this. You hear my marker scrubbing a little bit? I'm scrubbing softly to color in the space. Don't press too hard to ruin your marker. And make sure your marker stays pointy at all times. I'm using the broad side. Now I think I want to write the words October fun. If you want, you can write the word happy Halloween. I'm going to write October fun. Some people don't how to celebrate Halloween. October. October. October fun. And that's it. Now when you're finished, put away all of your markers. 
Make sure nothing's rolling around. Markers go back in the box. This is part of your craftsmanship. Dojo points for everyone whose work is on camera. Dojo points for everyone who's sitting tall and their work looks nice and neat and they're cleaning up. When you're finished and you're ready to present, raise your hand in class dojo if you're ready to share your work. I mean, I'm sorry, raise your hand in Zoom if you're ready to share your work. Hi, my name is Miss French and this is my October pumpkin. I use the broad side of the marker to color it in quickly. I use yellow to make it look like there's a candle inside of my jack-o'-lantern that's shining bright. Thank you. I use the colors orange, yellow, which are warm colors, and I use the color green, which is a cool color, and brown, which is a little bit warm because it has red in it. Thank you. If you are ready to share, raise your hand in Zoom now. You'll get five points for using vocabulary words, broad side. What are the vocabulary words? You can use broad side to show that you use the broad side of your marker. Thank you. Bye-bye.